Uh, I would like to see uh, what are all the top four uh, sectors in India currently we are uh, facing these issues. You can see the infrastructure and the you know, SEZs is a major problem. And the uh, minerals, mines, uh, all the eminent speakers are talking about. And the difference, you know, unfortunately, uh, every three years or four years, we hear a big scam around this area and the power, uh, you know, talk about coal or, uh, you know, any other natural gases, oil resources and things like that. Uh, these are the top minerals usually, you know, we encounter in the newspapers and we keep hearing about what's happening, right? Um, I'll show you some of the recent uh, issues uh, here. Uh, in Justice Chalmaya's uh, uh, opening um, remarks, he given some stats how, you know, we progressed and which is a little motivating what we are doing in 1940s and what currently we are doing. Uh, given the scandals, I was told 1948 is the first scam actually coming, uh, you know, in procuring the jeeps, right? So right after one year of our independence. So from then till now, every year we see some of the big scams happening. Um, you know, we are making good progress, making steps to control this, but where we are, right? Um, I've given top five reasons, but uh, we can go deeper. Everybody knows it's, uh, it's not a very linear approach where we can control this. Uh, we really need 100 hands to start working to craft this. Um, but to just give you a summary, these are all the five things we, we identified. Uh, you know, when I say uh, law enforcement or improvising our, uh, you know, amendments required for our legal, um, you know, Justice Santosh Higde and others can talk more about this, right? Especially the Land Acquisition Act, which is um, 1897 Act, still uh, in debate to get the uh, amendments now after 100 years, uh, which is a sad state of uh, FR. After all this, uh, what's next? I mean, we know, we talked enough, we know there is a corruption, we know this policy, we know talk about governance everywhere, right? So as I mentioned, it requires to uh, an action from every step, every angle, it, either it is a micro level or a macro level, right? And I just wanted to refer uh, Sir's uh, comments on starting with any human being. Right? It's very important whether you make a law, enforcement, get the technology, whatever you get, the key note is uh, it starts with, with us. Um, I always uh, share this uh, with the people. I was going through Aj Sankaracharya's uh, book. Uh, there is a small story I just wanted to share with the people. Uh, so this is a great novelist. Uh, he's preparing one of his book. He's very passionate about that book, very close to his heart. Uh, he's getting ready that book to release. So he's very busy doing the final comments on it. His five-year-old five son, he's keep uh, coming and disturbing him. So unlike any other fathers, he don't want to scold him. He wanted to give some work to this guy, so he'll be busy. He find a uh, world map uh, and a newspaper. So he cut that into like 30 pieces and given it to him and said, can you set this right? He thought maybe his geography teacher may take more time to set this because of, you know, 30 different pieces. This old guy came back in two minutes and said, daddy, it's done. He was really caught surprised. I mean, how can this five-year-old son able to set this right? So he said, son, how did you do that? How, how do you know about this world? He said, I don't know about anything about the world. So how did you correct this? That there is a man behind this world, I corrected the man, the world is automatically got in, in place, right? So I feel that's you know, very motivation for me to start what I'm doing and where I can uh, actually do, right? I can talk about each of these phases, how law enforcement should be, how e-governance should come and all. But until unless we take uh, everything what we do, we may not do, right? But we need to start somewhere. So I feel uh, Indian um, MNCs, Indian Inc., and the political uh, accountability needs to be top of it. 
they need to take drive because if you see in major of these uh, issues, corruption, these are the two drivers. We can talk about society, people and all, but I feel these are the two guys uh, should take lead in uh, you know, uh, handling these uh, situations. So some of the roles I feel Indian Inc. should take, they should acknowledge uh, the way they are doing the business, where is the corruption. They need to be alert. Uh, we are making good moves on the improvising our laws, new corruption, uh, the new companies act very well defined what is fraud and what is the responsibilities of managing directors and directors. Hopefully this will give us a great change in the way companies are operating, right? And zero tolerance for, for any of the corruptions, anti-bribery activities in the company. Um, you know, the training, training again, I said, you know, because they need to tell their people uh, top of the tone needs to be set right. All the managing director needs to push this. Um, what are the, some of the drivers uh, we can think of? We need to enhance our procedures, legislations, guidelines. Um, you know, someone talking about what is the royalty given to these minerals? Is that a royalty is the right thing to do? Why can't a revenue sharing, right? Who will decide that? Um, as per the some of the government, if, if recently if you see the CBI uh, clean sheet of 60 coal blocks is correct out of 180, right? The day it came into the newspapers, everybody was saying, you know, it may not 100% accurate to tell we lost X amount of crores because as per the law, we are right. Is the law correct? Are we following the right law? Or we are getting the decent share of what we are state supposed to get, right? Either uh, the change of first come first serve is it really bad, right? Uh, is always the bidding is 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 good. Uh, we know the stories how the bids will happen, right? How people form their own rigs to form these bids. So where is the transparency coming? When we say this is wrong or this is right, can we have a more in-depth discussion? Bring more technology into the uh, into the action to control some of these, right? Um, Use of technology, we really uh, support uh, because we need to identify, see, if the, the point right from the uh, procurement, allocation, uh, using, you know, uh, Daniel Kaufman already mentioned how we can use the GAS, GPS, the transactions, right? And all the check posts, um, something like I was mentioning, should be connected uh, so each and every mineral moving and able to take out until it goes to the export stage, we are able to control uh, with the use of technology. Uh, all the senior important cases needs to be investigated thoroughly uh, with the people. And we also need to require a very experienced people. Uh, you know, it's not only the, you know, unfortunately in minerals, what I was told, it's only the revenue and the police who are investigating. Are there the right persons to identify where is the mineral, what is the quality of the mineral, right? Uh, it is talked about the sand. Some of the levels of the sand will be used in preparing the chips, which is very costly sand, right? So who is identifying this is just a beach sand or a, or a sand which is required to use in the chips? So it's very important the, you know, civil associations like this, um, our friend Jeremiah's, you know, uh, journalists, uh, that's a great initiative of uh, training the journalists to understand the technology because they are the face for the people to bring these things out. 